Hello, my name is Dick Razik, and I'm here today to introduce you to a new member of the Cool Tool family, the Shore Seat Line Lappers. We have uh, three different kits. The Master Kit, which includes 37 and 45 degree heads, and it'll do 3 16 to half inch tubing. We also have our minis. The P37, it'll do your stainless lines. And the P45 does your double flare steel lines. Both kits come with two collets, one for 3 16 and one for quarter inch lines. The sure seat lapping heads are coated with a bonded diamond dust coating. It is the lapping media and it should last a very long time. On our master kit, the P51, let me show you how that works. You know when you're installing these lapping heads, uh, the screws may be in too far, so before you even try to stick it onto the shaft, loosen them up a bit so make sure that you don't mar the shaft. Then you home it out against the shoulder. Make the tool last a lot longer that way. First we're going to install the lapping head onto the shaft. We're going to use a 37 degree head here because we're going to do some stainless lines. I'm going to put this in a vise for easy handling and installation. You notice I uh, made the tool with uh, two rubber pads here. So we put it into the vise, it protects the coating on the yoke itself. Now we're going to put the head on the tool. The kit comes with an Allen wrench. Just back out the Allen screws a bit to make sure it fits onto the shaft. Slip it onto the shaft. Gently tighten one side. Screw down this other side, nice and firm. Come back and firm this side up. And you're ready to lap. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little demo here on, on lapping in a 3 8 flare on a stainless tubing. I'm gonna pick the appropriate collet here, that's, which happens to be a 3 8 at this time, and I'm going to install it around the tube here. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put it into the yoke. Just start it from the front, home it out. After you uh, install the tube into the yoke, give this diamond dust head a little coating of lube. It can be WD-40 or anything similar to that. Then you come in and do your lapping. That'll keep that head real nice and clean. Now we got a nice clean lap. Just like lapping your engine valves. We got to keep it from leaking. You know, if you're working on a long line, it might be advantageous to stick it in a vise. Put your collets around it, like this, and then come up with your yoke. Stick her in like that and just come in and start lapping like that. This might work for some applications. You'll notice on the uh, threaded collets, they're made for 3 16 and quarter inch steel brake lines. All you do is merely screw the fitting into the back of the collet and the flare will show up in the front. So just stick it in the flaring tool and clean it all up. Makes it easy. Now a little information on our mini kits. This is the P37, it's for stainless lines. This shaft has the correct angle, 37 degrees for stainless, and it's coated with a bonded diamond dust, and you'll just come in there and just go back and forth, and you're gonna lap in that stainless line. So we're gonna take the collet, and snap it around the tube, insert the collet into the tool, snap the locking device, come up here and give it some laps, back and forth, back and forth. So you see a nice shiny seat, you'll see it clean up. It really looks nice when it's clapped. There you are, all done. Just release the collet again, pull her out, you're ready to go. Screw the fitting into the back of the collet. Insert it into the tool itself, snap that locking device in place. Now we're ready to lap. Each mini kit has a label embedded in the handle. P37 is for stainless lines, P45 is for steel lines. Like I said before guys and gals, we've been grinding and lapping our engine valves for 100 years. Why not do the same thing with your flares? Make it easy on yourself. Stop those leaks with sure seat line lappers.